it's not just the uh, person who was attacked so badly, uh, Gideon Falter, who has some um, problems with the uh, leader of the Metropolitan Police, Sir Mark Rowley, who has called upon Mark Rowley to step down. Uh, it's not just Suella Bravman, who's done the same thing. I think she's quite right. But the uh, British, uh, the Board of Deputies of British Jews has also requested an urgent meeting with him. The uh, Gideon Falter is the chief executive of the campaign against anti-Semitism, and he was stopped on the street and told that he was a, a provocation because he was openly Jewish. This, uh, the, 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 this sort of behaviour and the uh, and, and, and the attitude of the police both to him and to others who are seen as um, problems for the police. The police are there to deal with problems. They're not, uh, it, it's not part of the police's job to push people off the street because uh, they might um, represent a future um, concern. It's the job of the police to protect people who've done nothing wrong. And therefore, I, I, I would as firmly support the freedom of Tommy Robinson as I would support the freedom of Gideon Falter and, and the freedom of people who are marching to protest against the invasion of Gaza. These three groups, these three, these three groups all, all demand protection. And it's not the police's job to select which they protect. And this is about police error in in a um, in, in in a completely detestable way. And it's about mistakes. And it's about sending messages which are emboldening anti-Semites. And this is a grave situation, and it demands a grave. Response. I think uh, the resignation of the uh, head of the Met would be the right approach. And uh, the, the, the Met may have apologized that its officers had said that um, the presence of Gideon was provocative and increased the likelihood of an altercation. This, this, this is nonsensical utterly nonsensical um, and it's uh, as Braverman has actually said and I don't normally support Braverman I, I, I go out of my way not to support her but she's quite right here um, it was flagrantly, flagrantly anti-semitic and it was waved on by the police uh, the, 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 the comments like scum 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 waved on by the police she said either this is gross incompetence or it's a culture coming from the top where thugs are free to intimidate and harass while the rest of us have to keep our mouths shut and stay out of the way uh, Falter has said racists, excre extremists and terrorist sympathisers have watched the excuses and inertia of the Met under his command and have been emboldened by his inaction at precisely the moment when he should be signalling a renewed determination to crack down on this criminality. What the Met under Sir Mark has done to the Jewish community over the course of six months is utterly unforgivable, and it is time for him to go. Enough is enough. Chris Philp has um, echoed that idea by saying that he's deeply concerned and would meet Rowley in the following week to discuss the incident. He says no one should be told their religion is provocative, nor an innocent person threatened with arrest solely because of someone else's anticipated unreasonable reaction. Being Jewish should not be seen as provocative. And uh, the energy secretary was on um, uh, was 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 on television today saying, I personally wouldn't go that far because I haven't had the conversations with him. I don't understand yet what he's going to say to the Home Secretary. These conversations need to take place. But I think it's really important that we stand by the Jewish community and other communities as well and say, we will not stand for this. This is not what equality means in society today. Rowley has said, every member of the Met is determined to ensure that London is a city where everyone feels safe. We absolutely understand that vulnerable Jewish and Muslim Londoners 
uh, feel since the terrorist attacks on Israel. Some of our actions have increased this concern. I personally reiterate our apology from earlier this week. Today, as with every other day, our officers will continue to police with courage, empathy and impartiality. It doesn't feel impartial when, um, when, 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 when we can hear an officer telling a, um, a Jewish Londoner that his presence is provocative. That doesn't feel impartial. 